Well, hello and welcome. In this quick start video, we're diving into the release planner. We made this with the intent to minimize the time added to a project or release caused by improper planning. That said, let's plan our next upcoming release. Click to add the release planner tab if it is not already enabled. The release planner will appear on the right side while your workspace will appear on the left. Use the Organize panel to filter the workspace like normal. You can even enable additional filters so that you only display items up for consideration in this sprint or release. To create the upcoming sprint, you can either use the Release Planner or the Organize panel. I will use the Organize panel for this example. And then once it's created, I will select my new sprint in the Release Planner. With the selected release, the Release Planner allows you to quickly adjust the start date and due date and edit your release details. Editing the release details is where you can set a release capacity. Let's add team members to this release. Start by either typing the names of team members here, or you can jump straight to adding items to this release. Notice that any items already assigned to a team member will automatically add that team member to the release. Once added, each team member will have their own section, with the number of items assigned to them, the amount of time already assigned to them, and any available capacity which is consumed by the remaining estimates of the assigned items. When you edit a team member, you will see where to set the user's work days, set the number of hours they work on a daily basis, and set their vacation days. Any users of the system can update this themselves by logging into their Axosoft account and navigating to their username in the upper right and then selecting user options, capacity. Each user also has a resource allocation percentage. So if this user is not working on any other overlapping releases, this will default to 100%. However, if you add a user who is already allocated in a different but overlapping release, Axosoft will alert you and auto-calculate the remaining availability for your upcoming release. You can manually set the resource allocation to any percentage you need. For example, if this user is only available for half time, Axosoft will adjust the user's available capacity to match that 50% allocation. Vacation days are automatically factored in as well. The user's available capacity will turn red if you over allocate work to one of your team members. So use this feedback to adjust the workload accordingly. The release planner comes with an option to add all users in your account to the release. If you need to quickly remove users with no items assigned to them, use this button here. Otherwise, you can remove a single user with this X icon. You can set global holidays for the whole team from this calendar button here as well. A few more things. Any items not assigned to anyone will fall under the unassigned section, and removing users will leave their items in the release planner but under the unassigned section. Lastly, Axosoft will visually total the work assigned to this release in the upper right corner of the planner. Users' capacities will roll up the total hours assigned to individuals, the total hours assigned to teams, the hours left unassigned, and your remaining available capacity. If you have manually defined a capacity cap for your sprint in your sprint settings, then Axosoft will use that as the max capacity for the sprint or release. Otherwise, the release planner will take the sum of all the user's capacity as the max capacity for your sprint or release. You are now more familiar with the release planner. Be sure to give this a try when planning your next release. Don't forget to also use your burndown charts, your dashboards, and your daily standup to keep track of progress once the sprint starts. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and as always, we'll see you in the next video.